Good morning and welcome to your 45 minute virtual reality slow flow yoga. Before we get started, if you are watching from a mobile device or a laptop, ensure that the top short edge of the mat is facing me. If you are using an Oculus today, just simply hold down on that home button, which you'll find on the inside of the lens and everything will just simply be oriented already. <laughs> So all we need for this class is two blocks and a strap. If you don't have two blocks or a strap, two pillows or a belt will be perfectly okay. And also this is a beginner friendly class. I will provide modifications and this is a full body practice. And because you are in the pleasure of your own home, please, I always welcome breaks. Okay. Let's get started lying down on our backs in supine position and have one block or one pillow nearby. Begin to arrive in the space, feet planted on the floor, knees facing the sky. Shoulders are soft. Soft gaze at the trees above you. Begin to check in with the breath without changing it. Just noticing how it feels in your body. Notice the sounds around you. And allow those sounds to pass by. Begin to deepen the breath while you're here, inhaling through the nose for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Aiming for a slow, steady breath. Continue with this pattern. I invite you to take one hand to the chest and one hand to the belly. Feel the rise and fall of the breath. I invite you to soften the gaze or even close the eyes if that's comfortable. Still allowing yourself to arrive here in your space, in your body, in your practice. Come back to neutral breath and gently flutter the eyes open. Release the hands beside you. Take the right knee in towards your chest. Gently hug it in. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, extend the left leg long. 
keeping the right knee in towards the chest. We're opening up the low back and the right hip. And maybe gently sway that knee side to side. Find subtle movement, still warming up the body. Invite small circles in one direction with the knee. And switch directions, still breathing deeply with intention. And finally come into stillness. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, pull the knee even closer. Good. Keeping the right knee where it is. Take the left heel and bring it in closer to your glute. So the left foot is stamped onto the mat. Inhale, extend the right leg up towards the sky. Find a nice deep hamstring stretch, waking up the back side of the leg. Depending on your flexibility, the hand could be behind the thigh or you can walk it up to behind your calf. Really flex into that right foot. This could be more than enough here. Or I also invite you to lengthen that left leg out and long. Good. If that left leg is extended out long, really press into that left heel and flex the left foot. Oh. Inhale, lengthen that right leg. Exhale, bring the leg in even closer. It's okay if you bend the knee. Good. On your next breath, stamp that left foot in, bending the left leg, and take that right ankle to cross over the left thigh, figure four stretch. Waking up the side of the right hip. Good. Lift that left foot off the mat, thread the hands through, grab the left thigh, inhale, Exhale to pull the leg in even closer towards the chest. Slow, steady breath. Really press that right knee away from the chest to deepen that hip stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I invite you to take small circles with your figure four, moving in one direction, still lubricating the joint here. And switch directions. Beautiful. Inhale, find stillness. At center, exhale, pull the knee even closer. Good. And bring everything down. Okay, both feet on the floor. Take that one block that's beside you or your pillow or cushion and place the block in between your inner thighs. Now we're waking up the inner thighs, okay? Feet are parallel, about hip width apart, all 10 toes facing the short edge of the mat. We inhale to align. As you exhale, press the hips up towards the sky, charging up the inner thighs, charging the heels. Good. Drawing the navel in towards the spine. We're waking up the back side of the body here, the posterior chain. Soft shoulders, 
Neck is neutral. Good. Take one deep inhale here. Exhale, press the hips up even higher. Good. Now really charge up that left leg. We'll shift the weight to our left heel as we extend the right leg long, squeezing the block with our inner thighs, flexing the right foot. Good, take one deep inhale here. Exhale, bring the right foot down. Hips are still up. Good. Inhale, charge the right heel. Exhale, extend the left leg long. Good, squeezing the block, activating the inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale, bring the foot back down and gently lower the hips. Remove the block from between the legs and place it on the side. Moving on to the left leg. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. And if you did it on the other side, go ahead and extend that right leg out long. I invite you to take small circles or just move the hip side to side. Still warming up. And it's okay if your right leg that's on the mat is bent or if the heel is floating off the mat. As we work on our flexibility, it'll gradually lengthen out long. Yoga is not about obtaining perfection. It's about the process and finding the transitions between each movement. We use these poses to get deeper into the body rather than using these poses rather than using the body to get deeper into the poses. Okay, bring that right foot in. Extend that left leg out long, hamstring stretch, flexing that left foot. Depending on your flexibility, you can stay here or extend that right leg out long again. Maybe walk the hands up towards the calves if you feel a little bit more limber on this side. One side is usually a little bit more limber or a little bit more tight than the other side and that's perfectly okay. Good, really flex that left foot. Take one deep inhale, exhale, pull the knee even closer to the chest, sink a little bit deeper. And now bend that left leg, bring that right foot in, find your figure four. Take that left ankle and place it over the right thigh. Good, lift the right foot off the mat, thread the hands through, grab the right thigh, and pull the knee in closer to the chest, waking up the left hip. Always inviting subtle movement here during the warm up. We're still lubricating the joints. Subtle movement can look like small circles or simply just moving side to side. Noticing where we carry tension. I tend to carry lots of tension in my hips. So moving through with small circles usually feels really good for me. It might feel good for you too. Take one deep inhale, come to stillness. And exhale, pull the knee in closer towards the chest, sinking even deeper. Good and release everything back onto the mat. Feet on the floor, knees facing up towards the sky. Take your block one more time and place it in between the inner thighs. Good. Inhale, plant the feet down onto the mat. Exhale, press the hips up. 
notice maybe the back side of the body feels warmer on the second round maybe the hips up are even higher towards the sky good really draw the navel in towards the spine squeezing the booty charging the heels we inhale shift the weight over to your right foot and extend the left leg long yes squeezing the block beautiful left foot is flexed and place the foot back down inhale shift the weight over to your left foot exhale extend the right leg long nice and place the foot down good inhale to lower everything down gently remove the block from between your legs and simply windshield wiper the knees side to side releasing the lower back beautiful okay Pull everything in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice hug, a nice squeeze. And rock and roll all the way up to the top of your mat. Okay. Let's come into our yoga squat, our malasana. So take the feet out wide, heels in on the mat, toes facing out. Hands on the floor, simply send the hips down and broaden the chest. Take the hands at heart center. Press the elbows into the inner thighs. Maybe rock side to side. If you find your heels popping up and this might be a little hard for you, take your cushion or your block and place it underneath your hips. So we're waking up the ankles, we're waking up the inner thighs, we're also opening up the chest and activating the shoulders here for your yogi squat. Nice. Take one deep inhale here. As you exhale, place the palms onto the mat and slowly lift the hips up. Find yourself in a forward fold. Take a generous bend in the knees. Good and simply rock side to side. Again, still waking up the hamstrings, bending left leg, bending right leg. Good. Move the block or the cushion away from you. Take a generous fold in the knees. Plant the hands on the ground and step back into your high plank. Good. So really pressing into the mat, energy through the crown of the head, energy through the heels. Find your breath here, we're warming up the center. Good. Let's take two cycles of breath here. bottom of your exhale drop the left knee down rotate your right heel to meet the mat and take the right hand all the way up towards the sky we're here in a modified side plank so really plant that left shin down into the mat press the right sole of the foot into the mat energy through the fingers beautiful now using your side body, keep the legs where they are. We inhale, lift the torso up. Good. So the arms are out long. You're kind of in a T here. Good. Inhale to lengthen the arms. Exhale, side stretch. Take the right hand to the right calf. Reach over to your right. Feel the length in that left side body. Good. And open up to 
towards the sky. Good. Okay, and gently come back to center and find your way back to tabletop. So cartwheel the hands down. Beautiful. Other side. Take that left leg out long behind you. Good. Now rotate that left heel down. Open up so the left hand reaches towards the sky. Modified side plank. Sole of the left foot planted into the earth. Right shin planted into the earth. Energy through the fingertips. Take a deep inhale here. Now using your core, using your obliques, lift the torso up so you find yourself in a T with the upper body. Good. Energy through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, side stretch. Left hand to left calf. Reach over to the left. Right bicep by the ear. Maybe look up towards the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center and cartwheel the hands down. Find yourself in tabletop. Good. Cat cow. We inhale, arch the lower back, shine the heart forward. Exhale, hollow out the belly, chin to chest. And again, inhale, arch the lower back, shine the heart forward. Exhale, hollow out the belly, chin to chest. And come back to center, good. And now find hip circles here, moving in one direction. Lubricating the hips and also the wrists. If you've been sitting down and typing all day, this should feel so good in the joints. Try to find a larger circle here. So really pressing the hips back towards the heels and really shifting the weight forward. So you feel that stretch in the wrists. And switch directions. Still breathing, still moving with intention. Beautiful. And come back to center. Come back to your neutral tabletop. Take that right wrist and flip it so the palms face up and fingers face towards you. Give yourself a nice wrist stretch. Maybe send the hips back towards the heels for a deeper wrist stretch. Good. Maybe find a soft fist and extend. Soft fist and extend. And come back to tabletop, other side. Flip the left hand, left palm faces the sky, fingers face towards you. To deepen the stretch, inhale and send the hips back towards the heels, nice and slow. Find a soft fist, curl the fingers and extend. Soften and curl and extend. And back to tabletop. Good. Now tuck the toes. Really plant all 10 toes onto the mat using your core. Send the hips up and back, find your first downward facing dog. Good, so pedal out the feet. Really press the hands away from the mat. Long spine. Energy through the heels. Really press into the insides of your palms. Good. Okay. Inhale, bend the knees and look to the top of your mat. Take a gentle stroll to the top of your mat. Find yourself in a nice forward fold. We inhale, halfway lift. Walk the hands up towards the shins, long spine. 
exhale forward fold inhale nice and slow circle the arms up good exhale hands to heart anjali mudra we're here to reset so take a look at your feet feet are parallel to each other hips with distance apart we inhale roll the shoulders back exhale roll the shoulders down good inhale word for hastasin bring the arms up exhale forward fold hands to heart good inhale halfway lift exhale this time send the hips back down into your chair pose utkatasana so biceps by the ears good draw the ribs in beautiful we hold it here for two cycles of breath on your exhale forward fold inhale send the right leg back behind you drop the back knee drop the back toe find your low lunge broaden the chest good inhale here fingertips could be on the mat or on the blocks or cushions <laughs> exhale send the hips back find your half split good really flexing those left toes waking up the hamstring here beautiful inhale come back into your low lunge really open up the chest here nice maybe the fingertips come up on the blocks yes exhale curve the spine belly to thigh lift the back knee tuck the back toes keep the right hand on the block and find your easy twist left hand towards the sky beautiful good inhale to lengthen exhale come back to your low lunge drop the back knee drop the back toe you can stay here to deepen your stretch or I invite you to sweep the left arm behind you. Maybe grab that right ankle, opening up that right hip flexor. Good. Notice your right shoulder, if it's shrugging in towards your ear, really press into that right block, finding length in the spine, beautiful and gently release that come back to your low lunge remove the blocks lift the back knee tuck the back toe and step your left foot back into downward dog beautiful okay roll to find your high plank we take a gentle flow here drop the knees chin chest inhale low cobra squeeze the elbows in together lift the chest up exhale send the hips back find your downward facing dog beautiful okay inhale bend the knees look to the top of the mat take a gentle stroll to the top of your mat find your forward fold once more inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale utkatasan chair pose sit back arms by the ears beautiful hold it here for two breaths sinking even deeper exhale forward fold inhale this time send the left leg back drop the back knee 
drop the back toe, find your low lunge. You can stay here with the fingertips on the mat, or you can use your blocks or cushions for more length. Inhale, press the hips forward, broaden the chest. Exhale, send the hips back. Ardha Hanuman, half split, keeping the right leg long, really flexing the right foot. Good. Let's go through that one more time. Inhale, find your low lunge, shift the weight forward, broadening the chest. Exhale, send the hips back. Good. Inhale, come into your low lunge. Plant the left hand onto the block or onto the mat. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Find your easy twist. Send the right hand up towards the sky. Gorgeous. Again, noticing your left shoulder. If it's close to your ear, really press into the block to find length in that arm and in the spine. Squeezing the left glute, energizing that back leg. Beautiful. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, come back to center. Low lunge. Drop the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Sweep the right arm behind you and grab that left foot. Waking up that left hip flexor. Good. Breathing into the left hip. And gently release that. Coming back to center. Remove the blocks. Place the hands onto the mat. Lift the back knee, tuck the back toe. Bring the right to meet the left leg for downward facing dog. We take our gentle flow here. Inhale, roll through high plank. Lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, low cobra. Shine the heart forward. Maybe lift the belly up, yes. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing. Okay. Inhale, send the left leg up towards the sky. Open up that left hip, yes and drop the right foot. Think about really bringing that left foot to the right side of your mat so you feel a nice stretch in the front of the left hip. Beautiful. Inhale, square off the hips. Exhale, place the left foot in between the hands. You're in a lunge here. Now take the blocks in front of you about 10 inches in front of you and gently shift the weight to your left leg and bring that right leg up. Let it float up. You're in a standing split here. Good. Let the left head or the left leg really charge. Good. Squeezing the right glute. Beautiful. From here, we shift the weight to our left hand as we extend the spine long. We transition into our half moon. So take the right hand to the hip and gently twist the right hip open, flexing the right foot. Half moon. Beautiful. Gaze could still be on the floor to find your stability. We're here for three, two, and one. We find warrior two, bend that left leg nice and slow and take that right leg to the floor. Inhale, cartwheel the torso up. Warrior two, beautiful. So gaze to the top of the left fingers. Mm -hmm. Bending at the left leg, sole of the right foot planted into the earth. Nice. Inhale, reverse that warrior. Take the right hand to the thigh. 
left arm towards the sky. Exhale, side angle. Take the left forearm to the left thigh. Right bicep to the ear. Open up at the chest. Look up towards the sky. Beautiful. Really deepening into that left leg. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Take that left leg back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, send the right leg up towards the sky. And open up the hip. Let that left foot dangle. Maybe even roll the ankle. Again, really thinking about sending that left foot towards the left side of the mat. Feel that stretch in the right hip. Good. Inhale, square the hips. Exhale, step the foot through. You're in a lunge. Find your blocks in front of you or your pillows and gently float that left foot up towards the sky. Shift the weight into your right leg, standing split. Good. Okay, activating the floating leg by squeezing that left glute. Good. Okay, we inhale, lengthen the spine and shift the weight to your right block and take that left hand to the left hip. We twist open to half moon. Twist open on the left side. Gaze could still be on your block. We hold it here for three cycles of breath. On the bottom of your exhale, bend the right leg, send the left leg down into your warrior two. Inhale the torso up. Right leg is bent, left leg is long behind you. Gaze to the top of your right hand. Shoulders are soft. Ribs are in, belly towards the spine. Really feel the outer edge of that left foot pressed into the mat. Good. Inhale, we take our reverse warrior. So send that left hand to the left calf or thigh and right bicep to the ear. Look up towards the sky. Notice the trees. Notice the sounds around you while you're here. Hmm. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left bicep to the ear. Look up towards the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, bring the torso up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Meet me in downward facing dog. Good. Ooh, pedal out the feet. It's a lot of standing and balancing. So stretch out those ankles. Beautiful. Okay, come back to our tabletop position. Crisscross the feet. And let's sit down and transition all the way onto our backs. And if you have a strap nearby or a belt, please grab that. Okay, and have it nearby. So we're here, back on the mats. Just how we started, feet planted on the ground, knees facing up towards the sky. 
take a moment to just notice how your body feels now versus how it felt in the beginning of practice. Maybe sway the knee side to side. Maybe the lower back feels a little bit more release. Maybe the legs feel a little bit more charged and warm. And what about your breath? I notice that my breath tends to deepen by the end of practice. As we move through these postures, even when we find stillness, I have to remind myself to deepen the breath and deepen my connection with my body. Okay, come back to center. Now take that strap or belt and place the belt underneath, right above your, behind the sole of your right foot. It could either be in the arch or in the ball of your foot, whatever feels good for you, really. If you place the strap or the belt on, your, on the ball of your foot, that's a deeper calf stretch. But if you're looking for a deeper hamstring stretch, just place it in the middle of your foot. Okay. Now grab the strap as you inhale and exhale, pull the foot in closer towards the chest, really flexing the foot. Can you drive the heel closer to the sky? Nice. And now extend that left leg out long. Mm -hmm. Inhale here. As you exhale, take the strap to your right hand and let the right foot fall gently to your side. Good. So we're stretching the inner thigh of our right leg. You might feel a nice calf stretch here, especially if the strap is right behind the ball of your foot. Left leg is still activated. Really press that left heel into the mat. Beautiful. On your next inhale, bring the right leg up towards the sky, back to center. Take the left hand to the strap. Exhale, send the left leg, or sorry, send the right leg to your left side. Nice twist. So here we're stretching the outside of our right thigh. Should feel your IT band. It's all the fascia, all the tendons, all the muscles that just sit and crunch on the right side of our thigh. This stretch is really good for just expanding and releasing all that tension on that side of our body. Good. Really pull the strap in towards your torso for a deeper stretch. Really press the heel away from you for a deeper stretch. And bring the leg back to center. And gently release the strap. Bend the right leg. Just let the leg dangle. Roll the ankle and we switch sides. Okay, bring the left leg in towards the chest. Take the strap and place it behind the left foot. Hamstring stretch. Pull the strap closer in towards your chest with each exhale. Extend the right leg long. 
Notice how this side feels. Inhale, send the left leg towards the left side of your mat. Open. Good. So you're holding the strap with your left hand, lengthening the left inner thigh, really flexing the left foot. Notice the right leg on the mat. Really press that right heel into the mat. And come back to center, switch the grip. Take the right hand to the strap and twist the left leg to the right side. So not only are we stretching the IT band, the outer hip, we're also releasing the lower back here, a nice supine twist. For a deeper lower back stretch, gaze over to your left shoulder. Still flexing that left foot. Good. And come back to center. Release the strap or the belt. Bend the left leg. Shake it out. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Just take small circles. <sighs> Moving in one direction and other direction. Squeeze everything in, head to knees. Give yourself a nice hug. And as you exhale, release everything and let the bones just lay heavy onto the earth. Into our final resting pose of Shavasana. I invite you to soften the gaze here and really turn inward. Slight tuck of the chin towards the chest. Feel the back of the heart sink heavy into the ground. And allow yourself this moment of stillness. Noticing how the air around you feels on your body. Noticing any changes that have taken place in the last 45 minutes. This is a time for your body to really digest all this information and allowing it to transform. You're more than welcome to stay here for, as, for however long you need. But for those of you who are ready, take a deep inhale and really stretch the arms above you. Give yourself a nice yawn. And exhale, curl over to one side. And gently press up into seated position. I 
and take the hands in towards the chest, thumbs to the sternum. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, let it all go. And take this moment to just thank yourself for showing up on your mat. And thank your body for all the hard work it does every day. May we send gratitude to any healing benefits this practice may bring us. And may that gratitude ripple out into the world. We bow down. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in your 45 minutes slow flow. I hope you all tune back in next week. Again, my name's Alexa.